I'm just on my way to the project I've been working on for a little over a week now. I don't have so much to do today. I just need to install some LED strip lights and um, oh, and put some put some support rails behind the shelving units, and uh, and that's going to be it. And then I'm going to be heading off back to the workshop. I've just started to come to the realization that I'm really slacking off on the focus of building this brand and this sort of furniture, woodwork business that I want to build. And the reason I say that is because I got the website up and running and I think I was so sort of content with having the website done because it was so hard for me and I, I'm not really in, very good at that stuff. Then once I got the website done, I just kind of dropped right off after that point of pushing forward with the furniture stuff and the brand. You know, it's almost like I felt like I'd achieved the thing that I was trying to achieve by building the website and then I, didn't, I haven't really done anything with it since. But the plan for a while now has been to try and grow a brand and create a furniture business. Um, and that's not going to happen unless I focus in on that thing and then making the videos and doing the content should be sort of around that and supporting that and just following that along. Making the products and doing the woodwork in the workshop and stuff is almost, in my mind, I'm thinking about that is almost like to back up the YouTube channel. What I should be doing is thinking, right, what products can I make? How can I promote these products to sell them? And then I film that whilst I'm doing it. And then the, the videos and the, the YouTube stuff is just there to document and back up the real thing that I'm doing. At least I think that's the way I should be thinking about it. So I'm gonna to start to make some content for the furniture brand itself, Instagram, probably a TikTok account and uh, a, a YouTube channel. And they will be under the brand and the banner of wood and coffee. And then I'll produce content, videos and photographs specifically with the intention to promote that brand and generate sales. This is the wardrobes that I'm working on at the moment. Along the front edge here, there's a hole there for a light switch. And then there's this routed strip along here. I just gotta clean that out. That comes all the way along up to the top. And then there's a LED strips that get installed down this edge. When the door's open, this switch will get depressed and that'll make the lights come on. But it's kind of a little bit of pressure because these wardrobes are very expensive. It doesn't seem like much because it's just one little hole. But if I mess that up, the whole wardrobe would have to be remade. There's not really any way you can just touch that up and repair it. It's a good, uh, good experience to do it, but a bit more pressure than I would prefer. I've got the first one done. This is the uh, strip with the LED lights in.
when I was using the router there, it's just because yesterday when I did the router in to get the cables in, the switch in, I didn't quite go in far enough for the switch to be able to fit in there. So I just have to do a little bit extra of a cut out uh, on the, the side. I've got those wardrobes finished, putting all the uh, light strips in and the switches. That went pretty well. I was, uh, I was anticipating it being a bit of a difficult job to get a good finish on, but actually it, it worked out really well. The guy I'm working with, he uh, put together a bit of a system using the router to make the hole for the switch and then to make space for the cables and stuff. So I just sort of followed the system that he'd put together and it was, uh, it was great actually. It's, uh, it's, it's been really nice doing this work and working with someone else who's got sort of higher level skills than I have with joinery and woodworking because uh, they can just soak up what they know and learn. I stopped in and saw the guys in the workshop this morning where the wardrobes are actually being made. Just had to chat with them about a couple of things and uh, I did the same thing there again. I, while I'm there chatting to them, I have a little look around the workshop, take it all in and it's just, uh, it's just, just learning and like uh, getting that exposure to the, uh, the type of skills and, and uh, environment I, I want to I wanna, learn about and, and, and improve on. For now, I'm going to go back to the workshop, uh, try and finish organising that, getting the shelves done, tidying that up, and then uh, once that's done, I can get back on to working on the products. And for the next couple of days, I really need to have a big push on some um, content and some, uh, some things to push on with the furniture brand and trying to sell some products because uh, I just need to get something moving. Because I've done all the elements to get to kind of the launching point, and then I've stopped there. I haven't pushed beyond that to actually start making happen what, what I need to happen, which is sell the products and get the business going. So, so that's it. Get some content done, make some products, focus back in on this uh, furniture brand. I'm not really doing anything to push forward with the furniture brand. And I'm not very good at selling. 